Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to use Create Sticker in Cricut Design Space. Keep in mind that this is in the beta version. Cricut has not released the full update yet and you will need Cricut access in order to fully utilize Create Sticker. Now I'm going to be honest, I was a little bit disappointed when I found out that you need to have Cricut access because I feel like we pay so much for the machines and the consumables that this should be a free feature for everyone to use. I do understand that companies need to make money, but I personally found it a little bit disappointing. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I am currently recording this on Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas to you and your family. I wish you lots of love and light, and I hope you guys have an awesome one. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm in Cricut Design Space and like I said in the intro of the video, you will need Cricut Access in order to use Create Sticker. So anyone with Cricut Design Space will be able to see the feature and interact with it. But if you go to make the sticker and you don't have Cricut Access, you will not be able to make the sticker. So I'm going to bring in my design and I'm going to click on images. And I've searched for reindeer mug and I'm going to use these two designs over here they are so cute so i'm gonna select the first one and i'm gonna add that to my canvas and then i'm just going to resize the sticker okay so now what i'm gonna do with my design selected i'm gonna click on create sticker and you can choose between two types of stickers. So you can create a die cut sticker, which cuts all the way through the printable material and through the backing or the liner. Or you can create a kiss cut sticker, which cuts through the printable material and it does not cut through the backing or the liner. So we are going to be trying out both of these today um, and I'm going to start with the die cut. So I'm going to select that and you can choose a border for your design. You can choose between thin, standard, wide, and custom. So let's just have a look and see what that looks like. So that is the thin border. This is the standard, and as you see, it gets thicker and thicker. I think I'm gonna use the custom border for this design, and you can use the slider to select how big you want the border to be. I'm going to make it 0.2 and you can also give your border a full color. I don't want a full color. I'm just going to leave it at the default and we don't have any interior shapes to cut. So I'm just going to leave that off and then I'm going to click on apply. We're pretty much ready to make it. So I'm going to select make and then you can duplicate your project or your design. Make sure you have the correct material size and then I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to go ahead and send this to my printer. I have done sticker tutorials in previous videos. If you want to see the settings that I've used, I'm not going to do it in today's video. So while that is printing out, I'm going to set the base material. When you're using this feature, Cricut Design Space is only going to give you these options. You cannot select any other option. So if you let me just show you that really quickly. If you go on to browse all materials, it will give you the compatible materials for this feature. If you select all materials, you'll see that the different materials are grayed out. So you can only use those materials. If you're using your own sticker paper and not Cricut's consumables, I use my own sticker paper and for the die cut, I selected the printable sticker paper white gray liner printing and this cuts over it twice and it worked for me. If you are using Cricut printable vinyl, then just select the appropriate material. So I'm going to select this one. And I'm also going to leave the die cut pressure at default. You can increase it or decrease it if you want to. And then just make sure your fine point blade is loaded. And once my sticker paper is finished printing, I'm going to load that onto my cutting mat and then load it into the Cricut and then just press go.
Okay, so now we're going to do the kiss cut stickers and everything is pretty much the same. The only thing that changes is the type of sticker we're making and the material. So I'm going to select my second image. I'm going to resize it. And then I'm going to click on create sticker and I'm going to select kiss cut. And then you can go ahead and select your border. For this one, I'm going to select the thin border and the full color, I'm just going to leave white. And I don't want it to be die cut, so I'm just going to leave the die cut edge off. And there's no shapes that I need to cut out on the inside, so I'm just going to leave that off as well. And I'm going to click apply. And then I'm going to click on make. And I'm going to make some copies of my design so that I fill my page up. Make sure that you have the correct material size and then I'm going to click on continue. And then once again, I'm going to send this to my printer. Okay, so while that is printing, we have to set our base material again for our Kiss Cut sticker. So this time I'm going to choose printable sticker paper white green liner printing and this one i found kiss cuts it perfectly i did play around with the other settings and i didn't get the same result so i found that this is the one that worked best for me so i'm just going to select that one and then i will leave the kiss cut pressure at default and again make sure your fine point blade is loaded I'm going to load my sheet onto my cutting mat and then load it into the Cricut and I'll press go. And that is how simple it is to create a sticker now in Cricut Design Space. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye!